Good morning, I arrived successfully at Chongqing Railway Station. As you can see, it's like the size of an airport. Quite busy. Just gonna get something to eat while I wait for my train, and then I will see you in Chengdu. This fast train is really nice. I mean, compared to some of the trains I've been on. Plenty of leg room. I'm looking outside my window. I try to see where my luck goes. I just don't know how it slips out. There must be some kind of plan. You can see the view outside. The bathroom's pretty nice as well. The location of this hostel is down the back streets of Chengdu, which is quite cool. <laughs> got some lunch and then I headed on to the metro and this is the first place in Chengdu I decided to come. Let me introduce you to the largest building in the world, the Global Center. Inside there's a water park, shops, restaurants, everything you've ever seen in a shopping center is in this building. What we could do around the world, say to Peru. We lie in bed till it's PM, eating breakfast when it's dark. I was taking a break here and I ordered what looks like yogurt with blueberries, and how wrong was I? <laughs> it's warm, and these are blueberries. Anyway. I'm always open to trying new things. Let us be partners in crime. You and me as body and crime. We'll dance for love. I'm at Tianfu Square in the centre of Chengdu at the moment. And that's uh, Chairman Mao behind me, the statue. There's a lot of police around. So I've picked my opportune moment to take this video and take my pictures. We need a song on the radio. I'm gonna get some uh, handmade green tea. There's a lot of interesting uh, people watching to be done here, We're playing mahjong. I like the atmosphere, it's really chill. Please don't play with water. Please don't climb and walk on grass. Eating it directly out of the sauce. 
and you have it in your own bowl first and then you take it out. There's some spiciness left on it, but you can handle it. My mouth's still on fire though. It's like a fire you can't put out. I keep putting yogurt in it, but it's like the fire comes back and it becomes bigger and it just spreads. I think we've probably got to wait like half an hour for it to just disperse. Authentic Chengdu. Do it if you're here. If you don't like spicy food, you're gonna struggle. I'm so scared for tomorrow morning. My hot pot has settled down. I feel a lot better now. Um, I'm now at Deep Breath, the Kunzai Xianzi Alleys. I said that right. <laughs> This is a popular evening spot in Chengdu. Back in my hostel now. Today was a really, really good day in Chengdu. I had a lot of good experiences. So if you're looking forward to seeing the pandas or you want to see more of Chengdu, then just watch the next video. It'll be the next day of my vlog series in China. Hello.